If you are going to the Hogwarts or even living in the magic world then there is one thing that you must have and that is a magical wand. Magical wand is an important and must have thing for every single wizard and witch. And there's a lot of things about wands that you Potter lads need to know. There are many Many type of magical wands exist in the magical world and there are few magical wand type that are very strong as well as rare. So hello portal lads, this is your portal lad Mr. Rajput and today I'm gonna tell you a lot about magical wands and their core and their types and also the owners of all type of wands. So pick up your wand and get ready for it. But before we starting the video, if you are new here then please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and also follow me on Instagram to see Harry Potter memes. All links in the description and now with Thor wasting any movement let's begin the video first of all let's talk about the person who manufactured and sold the wands i think you all know the answer it's garrick ollivander but there are many families and individual persons who manufacture the wands and few of those persons are Antioch Peverell, Mikey Georgiovich, Jimmy Kiddle, Arthur Capalupus, Violeta Bovius, Jonas Jonker, Thiago Cantiana, Shikoba Wolfie, James Stewart and of course Ollivander family. And beside these there are various other wand makers around the world. So we should put full stop here. And now let's talk about the core of the wand and who is the holder of it. So as I said in the video there are many type of wands and so is its score and those codes type are dragon heart string phoenix feather unicorn tail hair vela hair thastral tail hair troll whisker coral ditney stalk thunderbird tail feather wimpers cat hair white river monster spine rogue grow hair horned serpent horn schnelly gaster hair string jackalope anterior nasal whisker Kelpie hair, Kurupira hair and Basilix horn. So although there are many type of wand and core exist in the wizarding world but these are the most famous and most commonly used wand in the wizarding world but there are three type of wands that are so much powerful and also the rarest wands of all time and only few wizards and witches has those kind of wands and those three wand cores are Unicorn, Dragon and phoenix so let's talk about the unicorn wand core first unicorn hair generally produce the most consistent magic and is least subject to fluctuations and blockages wands with unicorn cons are generally the most difficult to turn to the dark arts which is a very good thing and unicorn wands are the most faithful wands of all wands and usually remain strongly attached to their first owner irrespective of whether he or she was an accomplished witch or wizard and there is a minor disadvantage of unicorn hair and that is they do not make the most powerful wands meaning that the hair may die and need replacing so now let's talk about the dragon wand core so as a rule dragon string produce wands with the most power and which are capable of the most flamboyant spells dragon's wands tend to learn more quicker than any other type of wands while they can change allegiance if worn from their original master they always bond strongly with the current owner and that's exactly opposite of unicorn hair wand core and the dragon wand tends to be easiest to turn to the dark arts though it will be not inclined that a way of its second accord it is also the most prone of the three cores to accidents being somewhat temperamental and let's talk about the last but not least the phoenix one core so phoenix one core is the rarest core type phoenix feathers are capable of greatest range of magic they may take longer than either unicorn or dragon cores to reveal this they show the most initiative sometimes acting of their own accords a quality that many witches and witches dislike phoenix feather wands are always the pickiest when it's come to the potential owners for the creature from which they are take is one of the most independent and detached in the world these wands are the hardest to take and to personalize and their allegiance is usually hard worn so in short phoenix weather wand core only choose the strongest wizard or witches so as i said there are three type of wands that are actually very famous and the strongest wand of all time and that are dragon heart string phoenix feather and unicorn tail hair and there are many students in hogwarts who guard one of these three wand core and let's start with the dragon heart string so the student who has a wand core of dragon heart strings are hermione granger victor crumb bellatrix lestring gildroy lockhart lucius malfoy minerva mcgonagall gary collivander peter pedigrew doris umbridge and horace slughorn so these are the students and the teachers who has the dragon heart string core in their wand and now let's talk about the phoenix feather as i said phoenix feather is the rarest and the 
strongest wand core of all time so only four people have phoenix wither core in their wand and those people are harry potter lord voldemort sylvanus cattleburn and celestina warbeck so there were only four people who hold the phoenix wither wand core and now let's talk about the last but not least unicorn tail hair the holder of unicorn tail hair wand core are cedric diggory neville longbottom remus lupin draco malfoy ron weasley cybel trelawine charlie weasley and penny haywards and potterlets do you wanna hear a fun fact garrick olivander is the person who manufactured these all three most famous and most strongest wand cores of dragon unicorn and phoenix yeah olivander is the one who created these all three wands and now let's talk about the history of wands wands were developed in the europe at an unknown point and it is known that it was in the bc era the olivander family started manufacturing wands in 382 bc and over time they earned a worldwide reputation in the 13th century and then the elder wand which would become known as the most powerful wand in existence was created the first witch who was a wand maker in north america was irish witch salt sayer who came to north america and start making wands for her adoptive sons and the students of her school lever morning and with her husband james stewart rapper or slow no child was allowed to wand until they arrived lever morning and they had to leave them there during the holidays until they reached the age of 17 and by the 1920s the use of wands has become common in north america although every witch and wizards including tourists needed a wand permit yeah you had that right you need a wand permit to keep a wand at an unknown point in history wands were introduced to asia cherry wands master received special prestige at mahatukoro school in japan and why does it always difficult to pronounce the japanese name like this one mahoto kuro anyway so in the 20th century wands were introduced to africa where they were less commonly used compared to the other parts of the world and there was at least one known business the specialized in turning wands to improve their performances and repair services were also available even on that time so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video and you gain a lot of knowledge about the magical wands and i can talk about more and more about these wands so if you want me to make another part of it so let me know in the comment section so we can explore more about these magical wands so be sure to subscribe and And now I will see you in my next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye and stay away from the muggles.